Thank you very much for this opportunity. Thank you very much for this invitation. Well, uh, I'm really, it's a great pleasure to be with you today with such uh, experienced people which held uh, in the past uh, these great events like World Championships in China. We was there and we won our bid during this championship since it was a great history for us. And also this Masters, it's unbelievable story, really. It's amazing. And also we was during the Olympics in London and congratulations with each, such, uh, I think it's one of the best Olympics ever was uh, hosted. And uh, we now are only under the preparation for our future FINA World Championships and also maybe the Masters. And uh, we need your experience and we need your knowledge. And I think we must be keep informed, keep in touch uh, during this period of time of our preparation. Thank you. Well, uh, today I'd like to uh, introduce to you some few words about our city, about uh, these big challenges which we will uh, make uh, during these uh, few, few, few years. And uh, also, uh, one year ago we first time introduced to the FINA family and today I think we are, we are inside and uh, of course this convention we are like so organizers and it's a great pleasure, again, it's an honor to be here and to make uh, some uh, context, to make big collaboration with, uh, with, with the people all over the world. And if you know, uh, Russia today starts the big, uh, big events like uh, FINA championships, like the Sochi Winter Olympics, the, like uh, FIFA World Cup. And it's a big, big challenge for whole of Russia and also for the city of Kazan. The city of Kazan, it's uh, for me, it is the best city because it's my native city, but it's one of the best city in Russia. Believe me, it's like a third capital of Russia. We're officially announced in Russia like a third capital after Moscow and St. Petersburg, and we also like a sports capital of Russia. We have in the city about 12 professional teams in different kinds of sports, in football, in ice hockey, in uh, basketball, in volleyball, and most of them are the best in Russia and one of the best in Europe in, uh, in uh, different championships. And uh, if you see in a slide, it's not far from Moscow. It's about uh, 800 kilometers in one, it's one hour by plane. We have today about 16 flights during the day. It's a business center uh, with a population about 1.2 million people uh, and uh, the, the 1,000 uh, year history, but it's very young uh, about the population. Most of the people, about uh, the average age more than uh, 30, 33 years old. So it's a very young city where uh, the educational center of Russia, more than 30 universities inside, and among the 1.2 population, it's about 200,000 students from all of Russia and also from all over the world. Uh, we have a tolerance because uh, we are like uh, half by half Muslims and Orthodox in the city, and uh, more than 100 nationalities lives in uh, the Republic of Tatarstan in a piece of harmony for a long period of time. And I'd like to show you a short video about our city, please. Um, keep your attention to the, to the screen. Is there a world where the sun rises where it sets? A world where north is south and east is west? Is there a world where two continents are one? Europe is Asia, and a hundred languages tell the same tale. Is there a world where a forest of flowers blooms year round? Is there a world where all religions pray as one? Well? Is there a world where the ancient is always near? Where young is old, and old is forever young? Is there a world where words are ambassadors of peace, and where weapons are poetry? Where science is a sport, where poetry is a competition.
is there a world where thought is worshipped by all and philosophy is being in love? Peace is a commonplace. Is there a world where energy has no mass and gravity is not a law? Is there a world where the snow leopard can fly? A world where two rivers mix, two cultures collide, two religions meet, two peoples love. And all worlds come together as one. There is a world called Kazan. That world is my world and yours. Kazan, a thousand worlds of me. Thank you. It's my city, and uh, also we are uh, not only the host city for the FINA World Championships. Next summer, we will hold the uh, World Student Games in Kazan, and uh, it's more than it's uh, two, f 248 days before the starting of the games, and we are in a preparation just now. And for this reason, like uh, my Chinese colleague mentioned, we develop all our infrastructure, develop our networks, our roadworks, our uh, airport. Of course, we built a lot of uh, new venues because it will be the biggest uh, students' games ever, uh, including 27 sports. It's like something like Olympics, it's true. And uh, we will receive about uh, 13,000 participants from 170 countries from all over the world. And now we're talking with the FINA Bureau and the FINA office and it will be some kind of rehearsal before the FINA championships because uh, all the aquatic sports are inside our uh, program during the university games, uh, synchronized uh, diving, uh, swimming, water polo, open water and all the venues that we are preparing for the uh, university games we will use it after uh, for, the, for the FINA aquatics. It is a big legacy for us because uh, uh, when, we finish the, when we finish our uh, uh, student games, we will start. Uh, the next step will be the FINA Aquatics, and after we will host the FIFA World Cup in, this, in the same, approximately the same winners. And also for the people who are now in the office and who are now preparing these uh, huge events and the big uh, human resources legacy for the country, also for the, for the city. Well, about the uh, infrastructure, we developed just now a lot of in the city, and uh, we started with the with the with the roads. We started with this new sport venues, as I mentioned, and the airports, international airports of the city. And to the end of this year, we will start the operation with the, with a new terminal, and we will increase the numbers of the flights, especially not only local flights but also the international flights. Today we have Lufthansa, Turkish Airlines. Fly Dubai, but we in the future would like to uh, increase the numbers for the main uh, international uh, airports, from the ma main international hubs to the city of Kazan. And also, it will be the speed train by the center of the city to the airport. It's about 20 minutes. Uh, we can, uh, uh, everybody can connect uh, the center from the airport. It's very useful and it's, it is big investment in the future. Well, uh, for, the, for, the, for, the, for the FINA purposes and for the aquatics, we are under construction of the new aquatic center in, the, in, the big, in, the, in a very wonderful place in the city. And it is three swimming pools by one roof. It's very unique for Russia because uh, it will be the, 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 the best one. Uh, and we will finish the construction uh, the m much next year. And we will st start some test events uh, in, in, in the springtime. And uh, it is uh, very good, very nice, up to design. And uh, last uh, week, the, some people from FINA was in Kazan. And uh, we are uh, uh, 
test it and uh, we are made it by, the, by all the requirements, uh, the modern requirements of FINA. And we will held here all the uh, aquatics and also uh, the masters if, 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 if we will make it in Kazan. And uh, it's something unique. Uh, we'd like to make some, uh, we would like to make swimming in our new football stadium, which we'll uh, construct now for the opening ceremony of the student games. And this stadium will help the FIFA World Cup. It is five-star FIFA stadium, and we'd like to put inside two uh, temporary swimming pools. One will be for the uh, competition and one for training. And uh, it's uh, some 3D movie, how it, how, how it will be. And uh, we, will, we think that uh, it, it, is, it is very good for the, for, the, for, for, the, for the people, for the citizens, for all the people who will come to Kazan. We will increase the numbers of the capacity because the aquatic palace is only about four and a, four and a half thousand seats. Here in the main pool will be more than 12,000 seats. For this reason, we'd like to make it temporary, temporary and it's, it, it will be inside the, inside the field. For the, uh, for the open water, we'd like to use our rolling channel. It is a brand new rolling channel. We hosted here last summer the World's uh, Rolling Championships. It's one of the uh, best rolling channels uh, in, in Europe and one of the best also in, in, in Russia. And uh, during the student games, we will use it for the open water. And it will be some kind of rehearsal and uh, experience for the FINA championship also. Well, uh, in addition, we'd like to use some uh, another swimming pools in the city because uh, during these three years we constructed eight more new brand one uh, 50 meters uh, swimming pools in the city. And for the training for some other events, we will use them also for the FINA championships. Uh, also, for s if, if, if we will make uh, masters uh, after the uh, championships uh, we, we can use for the accommodation our athletic village because for the students games we it is on the slide we uh, construct the student village it's like a student campus for more than uh, 15,000 seats uh, 15,000 uh, capacity and uh, it's a, it's it, it is like a three-star hotel with all equipment inside and it's very good and very nice and during summertime it's a vacation for the students and we will use it for the, for the participants of the games. It's a good place to make some kind of entertainment insights because it's uh, catering insights, uh, clubs and so on and so on, shops, and it's uh, not so far from the main aquatic center. Well, uh, for the development of the city, we understand that most of uh, people like to live in, a, in, a, in hotels and we have some program in a city which develop uh, the uh, hotel infrastructure and just now we have some brand worldwide uh, hotels in the city and some uh, new one under construction such like Kempinski, like Swiss Hotel. And we will increase the numbers of the hotel rooms for the 2013 and 2015. And I think uh, we will have no problems with the accommodation and with the services also. Um, the important issue and the important uh, issue for some investment in our city, in our region, that we are number one in the cities of Russia for the investment climates and for the comfortable life by the Forbes and by the World Bank uh, for the for, uh, last three years. Because uh, in, in, in Russia, Moscow and St. Petersburg, it's not municipalities, it is subjects of federation. But among the municipalities of our cities in Russia, were number one by these uh, numbers of uh, conditions. Another big uh, challenge, and I think uh, one of the big legacies after all these uh, events, it's uh, staff also and volunteers. Uh, two years ago, we started our volunteer program, and now in database, we have more than 28,000 uh, volunteers, and uh, they, uh, they are really uh, done a lot of work just now uh, during our uh, big events, not, sp not only sports events, but also cultural events and so on and so on. And uh, today we can uh, expect that uh, 15,000 volunteers are uh, just uh, online 
enter and they will come to, 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 to help us. And uh, all of them speaks, uh, speak English, uh, most of them speak French, uh, Spain, and it is very good uh, for, the, uh, for the future of Russia because it's volunteering, it's not salary, only for some kind of idea and so on. And it is big numbers of the US with 40 biggest universities in Russia for the volunteering. And uh, most of these people, it is the best young people from Russia, well, will, can come to Kazan for uh, help us to host these huge events. Uh, well, I'd like to show you, I don't know, uh, during our bit we prepare some kind of movie for the bidding. And uh, to the end of my speech, I'd like to show you one more video about uh, our vision of the FINA championships in, in the city of Kazan. Okay? We have video. Okay, uh, thank you very much for your time and attention and uh, welcome anytime you want to the city of Kazan, maybe earlier than 2015, but I think we will see each other during our FINA championships in the city of Kazan and uh, keep informed and keep in touch. Thank you so much and welcome to our stand because tonight we'll have some party there. <laughs>